Good evening, good evening. This is a very important urgent announcement that I am making. I am asking the U.S. Congress, I'm asking the U.S. Senate, I'm asking the U.S. Uh, the White House. Uh, you all are more familiar with this infamous beating that occurred in, uh, in Southern Cameroon Territory. Most specifically to the BLM, one Southern Cameroon. This happened on the November the 5th, uh, November the 5th, uh, 2018, when we witnessed a very brutal beating that was orchestrated by the National Gendarmerie. As you can identify from the uniform, it's indicated this National Gendarmerie Brigade in, in Fontaine and uh, in Libyalem, I'm sorry, in Libyalem, uh, that occurred. And that was one of the brutal beating that I ever performed. It was absolutely disgusting. I'm going to show the video so that you can watch. And then, then before we proceed to the comment that I'm going to be talking about. This is a cyber camera. This initial brutal break beaten, you can watch and see exactly what happens by the National Gendarmerie. You can, you can understand that the person speaking is a francophone. And witness this evil and the brutal regime of the Bobia regime. Uh, and you can watch. It's, I understand that the United States has never performed this type of brutal United States is always harmonious the way they're dealing with civilian populations. You can watch. You can watch. You can watch. This was the most brutal this that was performed by the National Gendarmerie. This is this is what I'm asking the United States Congress to immediately ask, investigate, and call upon the National Gendarmerie Minister in La Republic, the head of that military defense, to find out exactly what happened to this, uh, this uh, is, uh, Te Fortan. He was brutally beaten. I urge the U.S. Congress to immediately set up a commission to immediately investigate and find out exactly what happened to this young guy. I mean, it has been a year now or more since this infamous torture that was performed by La Republique Gendarme, National Gendarmerie in Fontaine. And I urge the United States, I urge the U.S. Congress, I urge because I can't talk about British government because nothing will be done. But I know the United States government, because I'm going to also be asking the U.S. Congress, the U.S. Senate, to immediately ask La Republique to submit detailed report about what happened to this guy in, in, in La Republique du Cameroon. And it is very, very imperative that the United States take a closer look on this and ask La Republique immediately and produce detailed report about what happened. And because there is indication that this guy that were performed this actual beating were immediately promoted by La Republique higher level in the Gendarmerie and were given a, another post of assignment because of this brutal torture and we need to know who are these individuals and where they are was there an upgrade was there an uh, immediately uh, increase their run because of this infamous torture in Saudi Cameroon and I also want to ask the Africa I also want to ask the African representative in West African region, the top U.S. general, to immediately find out through the U.S. Embassy in La Republique du Cameroon to immediately and investigate and find out exactly what was the outcome and why did it happen and who were they involved in this infamous torture. This is Funda Daniel speaking here from the great state of Texas. And uh, let me go back again. Uh... Let me go back. 
This is let's listen to the US top US general. Plus the video this morning did a very good job of explaining the history of how it got to the point where we are today. In uh, October of 2017, when it came kind of to a head, the Anglophone states said we, we want to actually form our own state, the Amazonian state. Uh, there have been issues there with uh, atrocities, issues with uh, allegations of, of uh, law of war um, issues, and uh, this is something that uh, it brings all this to a head. Uh, over the last several months or so, the State Department has put on hold several... Of course. You are listening from the top U.S. general because they are aware of the situation that is going on and the perpetration that is being carried out by the neighboring country, La Republic of Cameroon, on the southern Cameroon citizens' territory, Amazonia. And so that is why that lead me to reflect back more on this infamous torture and that I'm asking the U.S. Congress, I'm asking the U.S. Senate, I'm asking the State Department, I'm asking to immediately investigate and find out exactly did the report and who were performed this action and where are they and those gender Marie that were involved and where is the person in question that was tortured and they need to give detailed report and be submitted to the U.S. Congress, to the White House, the State Department, and the U.S. Congress to immediately get detail on the bottom of where this happened and who are they and where are they and if there is another assignment that was given to them. Thank you. This is Fundon Daniel speaking here from the great state of Texas here in the United States. Have a wonderful good night. Oh, attends, attends. Et puis, c'est bon.